arm spins and wrist spins, they belong to the big family of moves that are based on the concept of spinning your whip on one plane, letting it wrap around the body part, and then shifting it on the opposite plane to unwrap again. Um, so if you're scared at first to try something like a leg spin, be it just by tilting your neck or turning with it, um, you might try the arm spins and wrist spins first to get comfortable with the feeling, to get comfortable with the concept. Um, I think they are pretty easy if you have developed some play control, so you should be able to spin on a clean wheel plane uh, on the home side of the spinning hand as well as on the opposite side. That's the tricky one. And of course, all of this forwards and backwards and both hands. How do you do these wrist spins and arm spins? I start with the forwards ones. So you just start spinning on the wheel plane uh, on, this, on the home side of the spinning arm. And then the other arm reaches across, just under the whip uh, the moment right before it comes down, so the whip hits the hand from the top. And from here you just keep the momentum, keep on spinning, then you pull the arm on the other side, the kind of serving a cup of tea motion. And then the whip will automatically unwrap if you continue spinning. That's where you need some plane control on the opposite loop plane. Once again, you spin here, uh, on the home side, the other arm reaches across, pulls over, and then you're on the other side. Um, to get back again, you simply keep the arm here in the way, uh, and wait until the whip hits it again, keep on spinning, pull it over to the home side again. So when you come from here, pull it over, keep on spinning, keep the arm in the way, and Pull over to the other side again. And also from this side to, to the um, to this side, uh, it's not just shifting the arm, but also some some directing movement uh, of the arm. Once, demonstrating once again. Come from here, over here, over. Then you keep on spinning and can continue endlessly. Same thing, of course, for the other hand. So now spinning here on the sofa side, and then this little side arm reaches across to here, and you are spinning on the opposite wheel plane. If you keep the arm in the way, the weight will hit it from the top. And you keep spinning, keep the momentum, and pull it over to the home side of the spinning hand again. So here and back. Here and back. So for backwards, it's basically the same thing. So this time you start spinning backwards on wheel plane, um, and again the other hand reaches across right in the moment before um, the whip here reaches the top, so it can uh, hit the arm when it's spinning, uh, spinning towards the back. And then again, you just pull the whip over to the other side, um, like so. And again, there's um, not just pushing over, shifting like this, but also a guiding movement involved there. So, like this. And back the other way. Just keep on spinning here, um, as clean as you can get it. Uh, you keep the arm there. So automatically the whip will again hit the arm and let it's from here just let it spin around one more time. If you immediately pull the arm over, it's just like a like a kiss, so so, so slightly the whip slightly touching uh, the arm and for continuous spins it's nicer if you just let it wrap one more time so it's more obvious that you um, doing these kind of wrist spins and not just accidentally <laughs> touch your arm. So, like this. 
but goes, goes around one more time. Then you pull here over again with a guiding motion, a directing motion of the hand. Also for the other side, so start spinning backwards. The opposite arm reaching across, holding the whip over to its own side. Just, uh, just leave the arm there until the whip hits the arm again. Let it spin around one more time and direct it over to the other side. You can do it continuously like this. Oops, tangled. You can start just at your wrists and step by step move up um, the arm until you're at your shoulder um, doing this this direction now, otherwise I'll probably hit my lamp. So you can go even up to the shoulder like this and it's still the same concept. And of course also backwards. Um, trying to, to move all the way up the arm to the shoulder um, might prepare you a little bit uh, for the next spins. If you are scared at the beginning because you're similarly close to your head, then you're doing these arm spins um, at your shoulder. And it also prepares you for stuff to combine um, neck spins and arm spins and isolations around this, like um, stuff like this. Oh. Something like that. Or stuff like this, um, where you really need to be up on your shoulder to perform this. Um, so start just at your wrist and then um, work your all the way up.